Hello! Welcome to another Mactorial. I'm gonna have some slow music playing in the background. Hope it won't hurt you. I'm gonna show you how to download YouTube videos with Safari. You're gonna want to start out going to YouTube. Then find your favorite person on YouTube. My favorite person is Polar Death. And head over to his channel. And I'm gonna just click his latest video. I don't want to listen to that. So what you want to want to press to start to download, either you can go to Window and go to Activity, or you can press Apple Alt A, and that'll open this. Now you want you're gonna want to pick the one that says 2.5 out of a number. Okay, you're just gonna pick the one that says something out of it. It's it's usually loading and it's usually the biggest number. So you're gonna want to click on it, and so it's gonna start loading. You can just close all the windows, but don't close Safari because this has to download. Now, what you're going to want to do is, I don't know if the computer comes with an FLV player, but it won't matter. You're going to want to buy iSquint, I mean not buy, download for free. It's always going to ask you when you close it, you want to buy Visual Hub, blah, blah. You can optimize it for your iPod, if you have an iPod that plays video. Or you can optimize it for TV, which I usually do. You can make it as hot quality you want. You can make it add to iTunes if you want it to. It doesn't take too long to load. So we're just going to wait for this to finish loading over there. And I'm sorry about the text, guys. I really don't know if I'm going to spend 20 bucks on a real screen recorder. Okay, so there it is. It is done. Now I can quit Safari. Get video. You have your file right here. Okay? You're going to want to press Start. And you're going to want to add extension to it. You're going to add dot FLV. Oops. Press enter. You're going to press add. Now it's an FLV format. There you go. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to open iSquint. You're going to want to drag it in. I usually like to optimize it for TV since I'm not optimizing it for my iPod or anything. So then you press start. It doesn't actually take very long. And you can use this in Final Cut Express if you want to add that in. Uh, in one of his videos, he's like, and then my then I cut my dad's brakes, and he had a video of a car like crashing that he found on YouTube, probably because he did this. So it's an MPEG. Um, I'm not sure if you convert convert it. Um, I wouldn't. It would probably just lower the quality. So it would do more bad than good. So you want to wait for that to load. Okay, just wait for that to load there. It doesn't take very long, except this is sort of a small file. You can figure out how big it is by clicking on it once, so you're still in Finder, going to File, Get Info, and it will have, it's 6 megabytes, and it says that when you're downloading it, it says the total, it's 6 megabytes, and it has, you can open it with, I mean, a bunch of other stuff, such as other files, you can open it, and if you have like a, Final Cut Express file, you can open it with QuickTime. Okay, see how it dings and says, buy Visual Hub. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm just thankful that I got it. So, you got Get Video. I mean, I'm just gonna sort of change the name to tutorial.mpeg. I'm gonna tra trash the old video, because we're not gonna use that. And there you go. There you go. That is how you download YouTube videos with Safari that comes with all Macintoshes. Apple, Mac, whatever. 